hello friends welcome again and this is my new project healthcare manual system and this project i have developed in java jsp and mysql the version for the jdk i am using is the jdk 1.8 and mysql version is 5.6 for connecting java jsp with mysql i am using the mysql connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website so this is the web application development so i am using the tomcat version 7 for running this project but if you are tomcat version 8 and 9 then you can easily configure this project on those versions also this is a web application so for front-end development i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used for for formula additions for calendar date integrations i have used the jquery plugins so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project healthcare management system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project right so let's start so this is the home page of the project this is the static page and uh, i am not running anything from the database this is about us page and this is again a static page i am not running anything from the database if you want to change the content of home page then you can change it from index.st index.jsp and for about you can change it from about us.jsp this is admin login from where admin can log in and he will be able to perform short end operations this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page so just let's start with the admin login so the user id is admin 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 and password is test test once you log inside the system you will get the admin dashboard so you can perform these operations right so let's start so this is the dashboard right so home i already explained you about us already explained you this is a dashboard so if you want to add anything then you can jump on that menu from clicking on this page right so let me show through uh, go through one by one right so add new doctor from here you will be able to add a new doctor right so even doctor images so all of the doctor details uh, will be added from this form right and all of the doctor details will be saved into the database this is a add new patient from here admin will be able to add the patient details right as a address email each and everything will be added by the admin and this all information will be saved into a database this is a add new product product means what type of product do you want to add it means it is a test is it a medicine it is a doctor face each and everything is here right it's a treatment it's a medicine then you can add the type of the product and product company that what type of uh, uh, product you are using right it's a treatment it's the company Zipla or Randaxi then this type of product means each and everything facilitated by the hospital is a product right and you can add any type of product from here right product name units price and description you can add it from here this is add billing from here uh, Customer uh, admin will be able to generate the bill for the customer from here. Admin can select the patient and treating doctor. And this board drop notes are totally dynamic, and the value of these drop downs are coming from the database. You can edit any number of items here. You can see and you can select the items from here. Okay, so this one, right? So you can see. Uh, okay, if I want to delete it then total quantity you can add the quantity here right the unit price you can add here right right and the total uh, cost you can add and after that the total amount will be calculated automatically here you can see it's calculating automatically here once you click on the save cells then all of the information of this page will be saved into the database let me show you so once you click on the save cells then all of the items have been saved into the database and the patient id and doctor id is displaying here right so this is the add new billing right so these four forms we have developed this is the reports all of the doctors which you have saved will be displayed here and you can edit it and you can update the details right this is all patient from here you will be able to see all of the patients details right this is all products all of the products what do you have added will be displayed here all of the billing report and once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details means details items on this page this is a billing report right this is a change password from where here admin can change his account password and the logout so this is a totally session driven menu if i log out from the system then above uh menu will not be displayed let me show you so 
I have logged out from the system and above administration menu is not displaying but if I log in then above administration menu is displaying so, right so this is totally session driven and it renders according to the session right so this all functionalities I have developed inside this project healthcare management system and as I told you earlier this is a Java JSP and MySQL web based mini DBMS project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment I will incorporate those changes I will make this project better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much